Hey, before we get started, it's important to point out that on my bike, I have an Indian Stage 1 intake with the K&N filter and Indian Stage 1 slip-ons. The results that you see here are for my bike specifically, and your mileage may vary. What's going on guys? Two Indians here. How you guys doing today? Man, I tell you, it has now almost been a week since I got back from our epic 6,700 mile ride out to Sturgis and then Yellowstone, Beartooth and Glacier National Park. What an amazing time it was. Uh, I tell you what, um, getting out on the road with just friends like that is something that I've never done for such an extended period of time and it was well worth the effort and if you guys ever get a chance to do something like that uh, i highly suggest you do it hey as part of that ride i stopped to see the guys at lloyd's garage and i say guys but i also mean amanda too <laughs> and uh they were so accommodating um they let me work there and and uh, get on their wi-fi and everything while they were putting in the new cams for the Indian Challenger in pursuit. And uh, as you probably know, they've come up with their own cam for this platform. And I was really excited about getting it on the bike. Uh, you may have, and if you haven't, you should watch the videos that I did with Lloyd Greer over the last month. I did two videos, I'll put links to them right up here, um, discussing the cams, uh, you know, all the particulars about them and Kind of what you know what is to be expected or what can't be expected from the cams the, those videos are worth a watch and i urge you to listen closely because it's a little more in-depth and detail than what i'm about to go into you uh, with here but um suffice it to say i was very excited and had a high anticipation and uh, expectation i should say of what the results would be uh, if you know me and you know this channel, uh, I've done a lot of upgrades to my bikes over the years. Uh, I had my Springfield and I did a big bore kit. I've done cams, uh, you know, all that stuff on that bike because I am kind of a performance driven guy, uh, old hot rod guy from back in the day when I was a kid. And, uh, and I always want to get the most performance out of a bike that I can get. And, um, you may know that on this bike, before I even picked it up from the dealer, I had a full Stage 1 and the Indian Stage 2 cams installed. And I've also tried several tunes, tunes from RVS and from Lloyd's Garage. And um, so it just made sense that when this came out that I would, uh, I would give it a shot and see what it, you know, what it, what it produces, right, for, for my bike. And as Lloyd talked about in those, those videos that I did with him, every bike is different. And there are bikes that perform well and bikes that don't perform well with the cams. Um, it's not as simple as, you know, it's a blanket upgrade. And as I painfully found out after spending, and I hate to admit it, $3,600 on cams for this bike, for me, the results were not what I had wanted, at least according to the dyno numbers that were presented to me, you know, up on the screen right after they were installed. Well, let's go back. I mean, when I go back and look at the two different tunes that I had from RVS and from Lloyd's, uh, the results were pretty much the same. Uh, about 127, 126 foot-pounds of torque, depending on which day it was run and about 120 horsepower, 121 horsepower. Uh, those were acceptable numbers and I was very happy with that. That's uh, quite a step up from, you know, horsepower and torque at the wheel uh, with the stock bike, uh, which I think is significantly lower, or a little bit lower at least. Um, but uh, I came out of this exercise, <laughs> this nearly $4,000 exercise, with less torque, which came in at 119 foot-pounds of torque, down from the 126, 127, but more horsepower, all the way up to uh, 127 from 121. So, 
you know, we all know how torque and horsepower work, right? Uh, mostly torque is felt in the bottom end. That's the most used range. That's where you feel the power. That's what pulls you. That's what moves you. And as you can see from this chart, um, you know, the torque is pretty average. <laughs> you know, probably stock, is, if I had to say anything, uh, which, you know, isn't shabby. But um, to actually lose torque was kind of hard for me to accept. And seeing horsepower go up is great, terrific. I love horsepower. We all love horsepower, right? But as you'll notice from the, the chart here, from the graph, uh, all the horsepower is at the top end. Now, you know, if you like to ride fast and rev your motor and, and wind up your motor, that's great. Um, you know, I could tell that there seemed to be a little more in the top end. So today I'm gonna to take it for a little spin. I'm gonna tell you how the butt dyno feels on it and give you my impressions of that. But, you know, to be downright and honest, impressions uh, don't mean anything at all, right? Because I could be influenced, I can be influenced by the, by the results that I saw on the dyno chart. You know, if I hadn't seen that chart, maybe I'd feel completely different. I might wanna feel like the money that I spent uh, was well spent and I would be overly optimistic and give you a glowing review. On the other hand, knowing what I know about the, the negatives that came out of this exercise, uh, I might be overly pessimistic about how the butt dyno feels. So I'm gonna try to be as objective <laughs> I think that's the right one, right? Objective, yeah, to be as objective as I can and not subjective. So I spent about an hour riding around town, doing acceleration tests, doing some roll-ons on the highway, just kind of seeing how the bike felt to me. And yeah, indeed, I could definitely feel less power on the low end. Uh, it wasn't terrible. Uh, it felt probably what I would expect from a stock bike, um, but it did not feel like I would expect after spending $3,600. RPMs definitely ramped up a little bit faster once you got up to about 2,800 or 3,200 RPMs. You could really feel it surge after that, but all in all, not what I hoped for, not what I expected. You have to keep in mind that everybody's bike is different. And apparently the exhaust setup is the number one determinant factor as to whether or not these cams are gonna perform well for you. There were multiple bikes coming out of the shop while I was there in the days after that were getting as high as 140 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque. That still kept the torque numbers up higher than what I had and definitely huge horsepower increases. The bikes that were getting the best numbers were the bikes that had the Lloyd's two into one pipes on them. Now, I can't say that the cams are tuned specifically for the Lloyd's pipes, but I gotta say um, it, the evidence was pretty clear and you know, Lloyd had kind of alluded to the fact that a good two into one pipe that had a mid-length or longer pipe would probably perform the best. He also said, remember this, that the free-flowing pipes, like open headers, would be the worst performing. Um, so I can't believe that it would be worse than what mine was, but having a very restrictive pipe like mine had, definitely, based on the evidence that you see here in this video, is not optimal either. So anyway, take it all with a grain of salt, guys. Get in touch with the people at Lloyd's if you have questions about it. I mean, 140 horsepower and 130 foot-pounds of torque is nothing to sneeze at. So if that's something that you're after, get with the guys at Lloyd's, tell them what you got, what you want to do, and uh, hopefully they can get you fixed up. Now, I have to think about what my options are. Do I change the pipe? Do I go with a different pipe? I don't know, you know? Do I put the old cams back in? You know, that's still an option for me too. I hate to take that money and just throw it away. But here's another question. Will the old cams work well with the new intake manifold 
that uh, comes with the cans. You know, there's just so much to think about. Uh, what would you guys do if you were in my shoes? Uh, I don't want to hear all the armchair quarterbacking about the mistake that I made. Believe me, I'm suffering enough already. Right, honey? So, help a brother out. <laughs> Let me know what you would do, guys. Thanks for watching. Two Indians, I'm out of here.